a new mouthpiece. And yes, this is a Sios. Um, I think that stands for Shape Your Own Sound. Um, this is from their original line. Um, they have um, mouthpieces that can be totally customized for you, the customer. And they also have signature mouthpieces uh, where they've worked with uh, different artists to create a particular sound that that um, artist likes. Um, so rather than go with an artist because I really didn't know how the mouthpieces worked or sounded or how they would sound for me, I chose to go with uh, the company's original mouthpieces. This one is the Steady. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Steady. Um, it is the middle of the three that they offer. This one has a slight uh, step baffle. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's for the medium one. To me, it's pretty bright. Um, I think I, at some point, might try um, the one that's supposed to be a little bit darker than this. It's called uh, Smoky. Um, and the brightest one is, uh, is called um, Spark. I'm fairly certain that the baffle is a little bit larger in that one. Um, these are... 3D printed. Um, they seem to be all the rage right now. Um, so I thought I would give one a try. Uh, that was the other reason that I went with one of the originals because the originals are much less expensive than the signature or the custom. Um, so that was another reason I went with the original, one of the original mouthpieces um, I've been playing on it all day it was kind of hard at first um, I had to find out what strength reads worked well with it um, turns out that I can work with something a little bit stiffer because uh, my usual two and a half is just too soft um, for that and it was I was having real difficulties with it so um, I've been hearing about these mouthpieces a lot and I just wanted to give one a try so I'm gonna let you hear it right now <laughs> 